How to get alternative data? That is a question often asked. But as soon as you get a certain level in algorithmic trading, it becomes crucial. Only one tweet or news headline can heal months of work. It's crucial to combine your trading bot with alternative data such as live gold price, market sentiment, or if you trade forex, energy price or employment rate can make jump or dump any type of currency. So after more than 10 years of experience and different challenges, I'm giving you what is my recap of my favorite ways to get market data and most importantly, alternative market data, such as live gold price data from Bank of England or India, employment rate in the US and local real estate data. So in this video, the API I'm going to introduce you to, I'm going to judge them from my experience through three axes. One would be the quality and the depth of the data. For instance, how many years backwards can you get the data from and what is the lag between the data you get and the live market data. Second, we are going to explore what is the coding efficiency, what is from my point of view, if it's worth it to spend some time on this API regarding is it efficient, do they have like a community to help you if you have some bugs? And third, what is the cost between this API and the other API in the market? So now, enough talking and let's start with the API number five in order to get alternative data for your financial analysis or trading bots. Let's start with the API number five on the market, FinHub. FinHub is a big fish. It's widely used among hedge funds and financial analysts. The major asset of FinHub is the fact that it brings more than 30 years of data regarding the US stock market on all the axes. It can be regarding company owners, shareholders, dividends, and even press release. However, regarding programming and algorithmic trading, I noticed some lag of few minutes to hours on the market. This API would be perfect to complete your investment portfolio and for fundamental analysis. On top of that, the price, which rise to $2,500 a month for the full libraries, can make retails not keen to invest except if you are managing millions of dollars. However, you still have the free access if you want some fun. Regarding my rating, I will give two out of five. One out of five for the price, two and a half and three out of five for programming easiness and data depth. It's a useful one if you are working for a big player. Otherwise, as a retails, you have much better in position one and two of this ranking. Okay guys, just before to go further, I just want to let you know that I already wrote an article regarding the top five API that we are going to explore in this video with much more details. You can have like the link and even some part of the code on how to connect to this API. Now that we explore the number five, we can jump into the number four. And also on my Medium blog, it's completely free. You have much, much, much more article regarding algorithmic trading. Here, this one is my favorite one if you are new in this field. So just feel free and this one, if you want to have some fun, it's very good. So you can just jump on my blog and you have few articles that I wrote. Now we can jump back into the number four for me, which is Alpha Vantage. Number four in this list, Alpha Vantage. Alpha Vantage is probably the most famous for retail traders regarding the market. And this for two reasons. Even for my case, it was my first one that I used a few years ago. I traded with it during a month during pandemics and I loved it and hated it. You will understand why. The main advantage of Alpha Vantage is the fact that it offers several time frames. If you are looking for 45 minutes, two hours and a half, or even 30 seconds candles, you can get it easily with Alpha Vantage without creating complex loops to divide your time. And you will get more than 50 technical indicators within these time frames. However, there is some downside with Alpha Vantage API. 
One is the accuracy of the REST API. Sometimes you're gonna get blank or null data and it can create bugs in your bot, which means it adds a layer of work. On top of this reason, the second downside is the depth and the quality of the fundamental data, which from my perspective are a joke. You will just get barely the basic financial reports, but no more. Which means if you're looking for a good technical analysis package, which is give you different time frames, you can go with Alpha Vantage. But if you need some alternative data for trading bot, or even if you're doing AI trading bots or machine learning bots, such as in this video on the channel on which you can jump, it will not be the one. Concerning my rating, I will give it three out of five. Regarding the price, I will give it 3.5 out of five. It's a reasonable price. Regarding the easiness of coding, I will give it four out of five because that's really good, really easy, really easy to understand. You have a huge community and hundreds of tutorials either on YouTube, blog, or on Google, or even on their website. But regarding the depth of the data, I'm going to give 2.5 out of 5. It's a good one for the frequency. However, regarding the depth, mostly for fundamental analysis, there is a lot of lack. But it's a good one if you're only looking for technical analysis. Number three, of course, is Yahoo Finance. Just take a look at it. In one line of code, you can get thousands of lines of data. For instance, you want the price of Bitcoin in lifetime. You want data regarding stocks such as Amazon, Proctor and Gamble, or even Apple. You can get all this data as simple as one line of code. However, the simplicity of this API is also the black point of Yahoo Finance API. For instance, let's go and grab data regarding Ethereum USD. You can see for a lot of candles, the volume is missing and you have a lot of discrepancy and small lag into the market data. And if you want to start with it, there is like a free link below this video where you can jump into my Medium blog. I write down a full article on how to use it. You're gonna see it's very simple four minutes read and the other option you can also can jump into the Udemy course where you're gonna have like full range of activities and exercise to enhance your level in terms of algorithmic trading. Now that we went through it, let's start with the rating. For the rating concerning Yahoo Finance API, I will give 3.5 stars out of 5. It will be 5 stars for the price, 5 stars for the easiness of use, however, only 1.5 stars for the data depth and the quality of the data. The so Nasdaq API, in order to get alternative data, will work into three steps. The first step will consist of you creating an account in order to get an ID, then choosing the data product that you need, and at the end, build your market making strategy. Essentially, you will first require an API key, a secret API key address. Once we got this API key with this account, we're going to be able to buy the specific data that we need. If you're interested, I can create for you a full tutorial on how to get data from the Nasdaq. You choose in the catalog the data that you need, you pay for it, and after you can have like full access. The range of data provided by Nasdaq API are very large. For instance, if you want oil price for the oil market, just have to type oil and you have two types of data. Some data are free. For instance, let's jump on petroleum exporting countries. This table is not that interesting. That just brings you the oil price value on a daily basis with less than one day lag, which means like every day you are going to get the continuous price of oil. It's not like the most interesting, but what I want to share with you is how easy to get this official data and even some live data. Let's select this data. What we are going to do, we are just going to take 
the same request here. Let's execute. And you get every day, every single day, you're gonna get the official price of oil value. Like every day, the, the snapshot in order to get an update of the oil price value. But you have also more interesting data. For instance, if we go down, you have, for instance, data from the world agricultural supply and demand estimate like the official supply which is on the market and the estimate for next year regarding the production which can be very interesting in terms of investment for instance you can choose you can get the data for oil seed let's say imagine if you are going to invest to create like a trading robot to invest on commodities you have this option sugar what's going to be the production in the us in mexico if you are going to create a business there like it's super interesting on top of that, you can also get like different type of data such as real estate. And as I told you, you have free data, but you also have premium data. For instance, you want real estate data in China, you're going to have to pay $100 a month. The range price of the data is very wide. And one of the only negative points you can get with Nasdaq API is because you can quickly reach one, two, three thousand dollars a month each time that you get a new database. So you have roughly 20% of the data which are free, but for all the data which are interesting, you're gonna have to compile different type of data like hundred dollars, twenty dollars, forty dollars, five hundred dollars. Each time that you want like a new type of data, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more. For instance, you can also get the data for official central bank bank of england let's go okay here as you can see all the data you're gonna have to pay for it 75 dollars a month but it's very interesting because you have a lot of information and very wide range of information and as i mentioned the only black point with this API is the fact that you can quickly reach $1,000 a month just in data. But as a source of alternative data, very, very interesting. You have official data from the best data provider in the world. So I highly recommend to use this one. And if you are interested to get a full tutorial on this API, let me know in the comment and for sure I will do it. Concerning the rating, I'm going to give four out of five for this API. There's a lot of qualities. You can get a wide range of data, such as economical, financial, and alternative data. However, regarding live market data, you will not have anything. And on top of that, the price can rise like crazy. If there is a reason why EOD HG API would take the first spot, can be brought into two axes. One is the range of data provided. You have more than 70 stock exchange provided. You have data from the stock exchange of India, French stock exchange, Chinese stock exchange, Argentinian and South African stock exchange, which is insane. You can get data for more than 30 years. For some data, you have the data from the 70s, which is insane. You have more than 1,000 Forex pairs. And on top of that, for people who are trading cryptos and commodities like me, if you go and take a look at alternative data, you can have like news and sentiment analysis, which is very nice when you have machine learning or AI trading bots. And on top of that, the data that you're going to get are for 95% of the time with less than half a second lag with the market data. To use this API, it will work on the same way than the Nasdaq API. You're going to have to insert your API key within a variable that you are going to call clients. And after that, any type of data you're going to need, you, you just have to call it. For instance, if you want the data from the SP500, you just have to, to give a call and you're going to get the price data. We want data for the gold price. We can call the data and we can get the data for gold price. This API is a little bit more sophisticated to use. However, you can get any type of data. And also, if you take a look at the volume, you have no missing data. I have been using it for the last six months and I can just recommend it. Now, 
regarding the pricing, EOD SG API is filled with surprising made for retail trader. For the quality of the data, we can start with a basic package around 20 euros a month, which provides you more than 100,000 calls a day, which is more than enough. For instance, if you are running your first trading bots, I would highly recommend you to go with this type of API. With 20 euros a month, you have the security to be sure to have a constant flow of data. For instance, sometimes when you are trading with Binance, you can have some data leak or sometimes Binance can flag out your data and your bot can be locked in his way of trading. On the other hand, if you want to go on more deep and complex type of data, such as fundamental data, you have a package starting at 60 euros, which is going to bring you economical data, sentiment analysis for less than 60 euros a month. If you have like AI trading bots, you can combine it with this type of variable, which can be very interesting. And for the full package, we are at 99.9, .9, so roughly 100 euros. Now, let's jump into the rating. For the rating, I will give 4.5 out of 5. The API is not perfect. There's a lot of qualities, such as, first of all, the price is the most affordable one in the market but not only the most affordable one, but also the one which has the most depth in terms of data. You have a huge range of data with like a lot of qualities. However, the only axis of improvement would be the sophistication of the programming language. It's a little bit more heavy than NASDAQ or Yahoo Finance API, but overall it's still very easy to use and you have a huge community with different tutorials to be able to get it very quick. If you are very interested, I can do for you a full tutorial on how to use EOD HD API and explain you how to get this data. And on top of that, I contacted the API provider to ask them if it's possible that for this audience, we can get a free access key in order for you to be able to play with it in the next weeks. I will keep you updated in the next video for that. So. See you soon and I hope you enjoyed the video editing that I did in this video. I try to be a little bit more proactive and do stuff differently.